I honestly consider myself a game. When I was presented with the opportunity to make a prequel to Ghost Recon Wildlands, I jumped at the opportunity. First thing I did was ask Ubisoft for all the game assets, the cinematics. I just wanted to jump into the universe and learn about the characters and learn about how to bring this world that they had been working on for three years to the screen. I like the reality of the Tom Clancy universe. I think that it's all grounded and it comes from a real place, even though there's tons of fiction involved and fantasy, but it, it comes from a very natural, grounded place. Everything is very realistic. They've been so careful with detail. I think for the audience, when they get to see it for us, it just feeds us tremendously because you really feel you're in that world. The uh, locations have been top-notch, first class. Exactly the way it was written was the way it looked from being out in the woods to being out in the middle of nowhere to being in, in, in a church like this. They went all out and the production values through the roof. I think the most exciting find was the El Sueño character. Now, most people don't know about this character yet because he's only been teased in the trailer. But he is this giant who was tattooed all over the place. I played the character El Sueño. He created his own self. He had a vision and he spent most of his time creating that vision, allowing his friends, his closest inner circle, to move up with him. But in doing so, sometimes you have to get rid of other people. You have to have collateral damage. So we have Sueño, but now we have to get his tattoo just right. We're using a technique of tattoo transfers. One of the things that you have to do if you want to match the art in a game, that art is two-dimensional. It's going to go on a screen, and we're going to wrap it around someone's head. So you have to redraw it so it has the warpage in it. So as you wrap it around, like the cross pattern that's there still looks straight. Background and action. Bang. The Santa Muerte Saint is a very iconic character in the game as well. And we constantly looked at how to find a home for that character in our movie. At Sandoval's, we had a skull that represented the Muerta. At Nidia's, we had a, a small statuette and, not, and another skull. Here we have a full Muerta. This is the money one. It's actually all completely made out of money. We did a little altar as well, and we're going to have more of this you'll be seeing at the church. We had a lot of them also at the compound. We're really enjoying and having a lot of fun with all of our Muerta. Our costume designer, Dorothy Amos, also had a really tough job. She brings a lot to the character, not just sort of looking at visuals or sketches, but she's constantly asking how can she add or maybe even subtract to enhance the character. Look at the El Cardinal character, for example. She'll look at specifics like his black nail polish and try to figure out how to accent those colors. So it's not just a bunch of gold chains around this character's neck. And that's what a great costume designer does. And we were just blessed to have Dorothy on the team. I think one of the things that everyone will of course be waiting for, which is particularly exciting, is the inclusion of the ghosts. Now, anyone who's seen any of the marketing for the game itself know that these characters are very iconic. They have a very specific look, and working together with our team and our one of our weapon specialists, we were really able not only to ensure that all of the guns that the ghosts had were exactly accurate, but every attention to detail, what they wore, their beards, you know, every detail that really made it feel like you'd watch the movie see the game and immediately know that those characters were the same. One of my favorite parts about this job is actually being able to take 3D assets from the game world and placing it in a movie without giving too much away. I think fans who will watch the film, play the game and maybe revisit the movie might find a few things in our film. I can't tell you how excited I am to share this with the world and the Tom Clancy fans. This is going to be a lot of fun.